The storage principle gives a rainfall runoff relation for a catchment. It is based on two relations. One, the draining characteristics of the linear reservoir, saying that storage is linear proportional to the outflow discharge Q. And continuity, which says that change of storage is the influx rain minus the average outflow times a time step delta t. We will handle the numerical solution for two moments, one and two, in time where the rain flux Pa is constant. Rewriting equation one for the two moments gives, gives S1 is K times Q1 and S2 is K times Q2. With delta S is S2 minus S1 and Q average is Q1 plus Q2 over 2. Equation 2 becomes k times q2 minus k times q1 equals the influx times delta t minus q1 plus q2 over 2 times delta t and rewriting gives q2 is a factor times q1 plus another factor times the influx this means Q at moment 2 can be calculated from Q1 at the previous time step and the rain flux Pa. The factors in front of Q1 and Pa depend on K and the time step delta T. We will handle an example with time interval delta t is half an hour. With delta t is half an hour, the above, above equation for q2 becomes q2 is one third of q1 plus two third of Pa for K is half an hour and for K is two hours Q2 is 0 0.78 Q1 plus 0 0.22 times Pa We assume we have rain as follows. The first half hour, we have 20 millimeter of rain, followed by a half hour of rain intensity 10 millimeters per hour, and then another half hour. Twenty millimeters per hour, and finally half an hour of ten millimeter per hour.
if we start to fill this in the table, we have 20, 10, 20, and 10 millimeter per hour. Now we can start our calculations of Q with time steps of half an hour. First, for K is half an hour. We start with Q1. Q1 is 0 at T is 0. Q2 we calculate from our equations. Q2 at time step half an hour. Our equation one third of Q1, two third of PA is one third Q1, still zero, plus two third of our rain intensity, 20 millimeters, results in 33.3 .3 millimeter per hour. This is our first Q2. Here we have zero. Q2 at T is one hour. We apply the same equation. Q2 is one third Q1 plus Q1 is the Q2 from the previous time step plus the rain in this interval is 10 millimeters per hour results 11 in 11.1. We can do that for all moments in the table. That one and a half hour we'll find 17, 12.4, 4.1, 1.4, 0.5. And we can repeat the calculations for K is 2. At T is 0. Q1 is 0. A t, is a a t is a half hour. Q2 is, we have a different equation, 0 0.78 times Q1, which is still 0, plus 0 0.22 times 20, resulting in 4.4 millimeter per hour. 4.4. And at, at t is 1, q2, the same equation, but q1 is now q2 from the previous time step, 4.4 plus 0 0.22 times the influx is 5.6 millimeter hour. We can do that also for the other time steps, resulting in 8.8, 9.1, 7.1, and 4.3. The results can be plotted in the graph. We can see that the hydrograph with a smaller K, K is a half, drains faster than the hydrograph with a larger K of two hours. We also see that all the peaks occur during the rain and the depletion starts immediately after the rain. This is when the depletion starts. And indeed, we see
that the depletion for K of half an hour is faster than for K. is two hours.